Alright, so I want to talk about the dreaded gaming backlog. Something so terrifying and intimidating that it sends chills down my spine just thinking about it. Oh, w wait, actually, that's just my copy of Wii Play. No, but really, all those games just sitting there untouched and unplayed just watching me sink a month of my life into a new Minecraft world instead of at least considering picking up a game from my backlog. And to make matters worse, I just keep buying new games. You see, a big problem I have with my backlog is that a lot of the games are longer to play, around 20-ish hours to complete. Anytime I think about picking up an older game and playing it, I just get lazy because I don't want to put that kind of time investment into a game because I know that just right behind that is another game that's going to take about 20 to 30 hours to complete. But if they're all going to take that long to beat, then what does it even matter in the first place? I mean, this is truly just where the problem begins because I don't want to start something because I don't want to start something and then it just compounds and now next thing I know, I have tons of games in my backlog untouched. But this is where I'm putting my foot down and taking a stand. You see, I'm tired of having all these games that I've had for who knows how long that I've been wanting to play, but just been too lazy to start. It's time I tackle my backlog and overcome my fears and play these games. Today is the day that everything changes from here on out. Oh, who am I kidding? Minecraft just got its new update. Okay, but in all seriousness, I have a backlog issue. And not the kind that a fibrous diet can help with. This is an issue I've had for a long time now. It's like when you're told to clean your room as a kid, so you just kind of shove everything under the bed, but eventually the mess under your bed is so big that you can't simply ignore it anymore. Yeah, that's how I feel about my backlog. It started out as, oh, I'll get around to playing these couple of games eventually, to now I have The Witcher 3 on my backlog. You know how terrifying that is for me? Obviously, the issue isn't directly the backlog itself, but rather me continuing to buy new games while ignoring the games I already have and want to play. Like, seriously, just the other day I was at a GameStop and found Chris Tales new for $5 and was like, yeah, I've never heard of this game before, but it looks decent and it's only $5. Yeah, I'll hold on to it and continue to look around, but I'll probably end up putting it back. Yeah, next thing I knew I was at the checkout line. Also, I'm the type of guy who likes to play every game I own, that's where I find the value in owning a game. I very rarely just buy a video game just for the sake of owning it for a collection. But man, game collecting is a topic all in of itself. Point is that if I buy a game, I wholly intend on playing it someday, so every new game I get just immediately is thrown into the backlog to rot with the others. I have decided that I want to change this however, I really want to put in an effort to playing and enjoying the games in my backlog. And with no games releasing anytime soon that I'm really that excited about, I have the perfect opportunity to play some of my older games instead. I've actually already started making progress in my backlog recently. I don't exactly know what truly encouraged this, but I decided to finally play through The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD on the Switch. I haven't had the game too long in my backlog compared to other games, but this is a game I've wanted to beat and play through for so long now. I've had the original Wii version of the game for the longest time now, and I remember it being one of the first quote-unquote real video games I got as a kid. I remember going to a GameStop with my dad, and I was probably wanting to get some cheap shovelware game, but instead, he encouraged me to try out this Zelda game. As a kid, I really enjoyed the game, and it was a game that ultimately got me interested in the Legend of Zelda franchise as a whole. However, I did struggle with the game as a kid, even though this is one of the easier games in the Zelda series, I ended up attempting two different playthroughs on my Wii, and both times I would always get stuck at some point and end up just putting the game down. So now that I am somewhat more competent than I was back when I was a kid and the HD remake is in my backlog, I decided that now is finally the time I beat this game. And so for about three and a half days, I sat on the couch sinking over 30 plus hours into the Skyward Sword and finally beat it. And man, does it feel good. Not only to beat a game I've wanted to beat since I was a kid, but to just also sit down and tackle a game on my backlog like that. I definitely enjoyed my time with the game and had a lot of fun with it, but I think most of my enjoyment from the game came from the fact that I was just sitting down and playing a game with truly the intent of just enjoying a video game. It felt like I was in middle school or high school again, just getting to come home and play video games for the rest of the day with not a worry in the world or any responsibilities taking up my time. I love that feeling, and honestly, this is something I've missed in video games recently. 
I feel like lately, I've been focusing too much on trying to 100% beat a game or experience every little last thing a game has to offer and I started to get burnt out of gaming. But sitting down and playing a game with the intent on just finishing the story and really nothing else more was so nice. So after having felt so good finishing Skyward Sword, I almost immediately jumped into another game on my backlog, which I had started a little while ago but hadn't finished, this being Final Fantasy Adventure. Not too long ago I got the collection of mana with the first three games in the mana series ported to the Nintendo Switch. I definitely have a soft spot for old school RPGs, I just think they have a lot of charm and character to them. So I really enjoyed my time with Final Fantasy Adventure. It ended up reminding me a lot of The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, which is one of my favorite Zelda games. As of now, I have started the second game in the collection, Secret of Mana, but I haven't finished it yet. But once again, just sitting down and playing these games with no intent other than finishing the story is so nice. I have never played anything from the Mana or Final Fantasy series before, but I have really enjoyed putting time into these games, and I'm glad that I reached into my backlog to start playing them. Okay, but Samuel, I hear you asking. So what? You played like, what, two games from your backlog? That doesn't mean you're on the road to recovery and clearing it up. Uh, yeah, good point. If I'm really going to clear up my backlog, I'm going to have to put a lot more into just playing these two games. It's going to be a longer process that's going to take a few months most likely. But I don't see that as a bad thing. If anything, it's a really good position to be in. I have all these great games that I've wanted to play and finally an intent to actually sit down and enjoy them for once. Now, having an intent to do something is one thing, but there is actually plenty of articles and videos out there giving advice on how to approach tackling your backlog. Personally, I still think the best thing to do is just to commit and actually play a game in your backlog, similar to what I have been doing. Obviously, by sitting down and actually playing through a game in your backlog, you are in turn eliminating a game from your backlog. Yeah, I know, it's a crazy how that simple of a concept works. But I have seen a few tips of advice that I do think are worth taking into consideration, especially if you have a backlog and are looking for motivation to tackle it. If you end up searching for advice on how to tackle a backlog, you will end up seeing a lot of common bits of advice across multiple sources, but a few unique ones I saw only once or twice stood out as the most no-brainers to help with cleaning your backlog, like setting aside to play video games. Definitely sounds like being a kid again where it's like, oh, you only get one hour of screen time today, little Timmy. But actually, this is something that I myself have done before. A couple years ago in my freshman year of college, I would go back to my dorm in between classes for a little over an hour, and I would set this time aside to just sit down and play video games. Actually, when I first started doing this, I cleared out Subnautica Below Zero from my backlog, funny enough. Another bit of advice is to just know when to quit a game. Obviously, if you aren't enjoying a game, don't force yourself to finish it. It's more worth it to you to just put the game down and move on to a new one. And when it comes to picking the next game that you're wanting to play, one thing I always like to do is go to the website howlongtobeat.com. This is a really great website for figuring out an average of how long it usually takes players to beat a game. You see, depending on how much time commitment you have to put towards a game can really go towards what game you choose to pick. Obviously, you wouldn't want to pick a game that's going to take 60 plus hours to beat when you really only realistically have about 5 hours in a week to put towards it. This is just going to result in the game taking you way longer to beat and honestly just break you down and demotivate you from playing it anymore, so I would highly recommend checking this website out. Also, just don't buy unnecessary games. I definitely fall victim to this more than I would like to admit, but it's another no-brainer to go towards helping your backlog not get so out of control. But ultimately, the best advice I got from looking at these tips to clear out a backlog is almost counterintuitive, and that is simply to just accept the fact that you have a backlog. If your backlog is so large and expansive, it may be best to just accept the fact that it is extremely implausible to play every game you have this can help you make better decisions on what is worth your time to play. Ah, but hey, who am I really to say anything? I just read a couple articles off Google. My advice is about as good as an alcoholic telling you to just stop drinking.